Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a new weapon mod here. This is the Mac 11. Uh, it's a fully auto pistol, machine pistol, also known as. Um, but it just, I mean, it doesn't have to be automatic. You can actually customize it in this particular game to be not automatic. Um, it's a real world weapon used in real life, um, not from the Fallout universe or anything like that. Uh, it does have custom camos here. We do have the bomb camo on there right now with like the shark, like like Gucci paint on a bomb back in World War II because if you don't know they painted their bombs back then um, but it is a very powerful weapon because it just has that extreme fire rate there of 454 that's pretty extreme you guys uh, it does not do that much damage per round but when you combine that with the huge amount of fire rate you really put some damage down range real quick um, it has a muzzle brake on this is not a suppressor this is a muzzle brake to make it more accurate um, but you can suppress the weapon it has a flashlight laser sight combo or you can do one or the other we'll get all of that in a second Real quick, we have the weapon equipped. Let's pull it out here, and we'll just shoot it off. It's it's a little like I said, it's a little pistol. You're holding it here like a pistol. Um, we're just gonna shoot it off in the sky. It's, we got like a 45 round mag, and it's gonna be gone in like very quickly. Obviously, you see there are a lot of recoil uh, as well. It's a 64 round mag actually. It's a big mag, um, but you can spray it if you actually maintain the recoil. You can get a really tight spread on that and put a lot of bullets out really quickly. You got a big bunch of muzzle flash there with the muzzle brake and everything on. Um, we can quickly look at what we can do customization wise with this weapon. There's actually quite a bit you can do with this particular weapon. Um, so obviously you can do all the receiver stuff. Same things as uh, most pistols or whatever. You can put advanced receiver on there. So you can lower that fire rate down to 99. Um, but increase the damage obviously because it's semi-auto. That's just the way that Fallout works. I don't know if that makes much sense, but I prefer the fully automatic version just because it's kind of more traditional to how the Mac 11 was operated in real life. Uh, Mac 11 is a gun that it does come semi-automatic as a pistol. Um, but it was easily modifiable, so you could just take like a little pin out, I think. I could be wrong on this, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you just take a little pin out and then make it fully automatic. Uh, so you have a couple stock options, no stock, um, so obviously the most amount of recoil, and then standard stock where it's like folded, and then you want the fully out stock, obviously because you're going to get the best recoil, best hit fire accuracy, and you're going to need all that for f spraying and praying this gun fully automatic. So obviously standard mag, all the way up to large quick eject mag, same basic stuff. Standard sights and glow sights. Pretty much the basic stuff, right? Your standard sights is just, you know, and then the glow sights are green. Um, which is different. There's actually like a different sight attachment later on. We'll get to that. Um, you got the muzzle brake. You can have a suppressor here. You can also have a scope suppressor. We'll put that on real quick and show that off. Um, it's because it's silly. Um, but if you want a suppressor, you can put a scope on the suppressor and then fire it like sniper rifle style. I guess if you did make it semi-auto, that'd be easier to control. But like with the recoil, it's a little too hard to control. But you can't put a, a big long-range scope on there if you want to. But it has to be suppressed. It's complicated, I guess. Um, or you can just put a regular suppressor on there. No muzzle, muzzle brake. Um, muzzle brake's gonna give you the best recoil. So we're just trying to make this the fully auto gun. So here's the reflex sight. You can put the reflex sight on here, which is a separate attachment from the regular sight. So you got standard sights or glow sights. So this is gonna be glow sights with the reflex sight. Um, very accurate red dot sight, very clear, easy to see through the dot, the little green dot there. You shoot with the green dot, the bad man's die or the monsters or whatever you're fighting, right? All that stuff takes taken care of. I prefer actually just iron sights though, not because I just because I don't use the sights on this particular weapon very much. I, I find like I, it's it's a it's a machine pistol, so you're gonna get close range and you're gonna spray and pray from the hip. Um, you can make it uh, 10 millimeter, which is standard, or you can make it more powerful at the .45 or weaker at the .38. Um, depends on what kind of ammo you want to use. Obviously, the most powerful is gonna be the .45. It's gonna make it heavier though too. Um, so you got camos here. This is the standard. The Bengal Tiger, so white with the black stripes. The Bomb, uh, Bones Camo, Dreams Camo, Flames Camo, Street Camo, Tiger Camo, and then Tribal, which doesn't look like it's loading in because it's just kind of blank. Um, so you can kind of pick between whatever those you want, right? Like there, there's lots of different kind of colorful options. I like the Tiger though, just because it's like bright and almost like fiery looking, but it's a Tiger, obviously. You know, orange with the black stripes. Um, you can have a flashlight, laser sight. You can have no attachments. Flashlight attachment, laser attachment, or both. Um, you have to craft the flashlight toggle, so it's complicated. Uh, we'll show that off in a second, too. And then that's pretty much the whole weapon. So we'll get to that crafting at the chemistry station, and I'll see you there. Yeah. So if you're here at the chemistry station, you go to utility down here, and then you're going to want to craft. You want to find the Mac 11 flashlight toggle. You'll craft that from one steel. Um, so what you do here is then obviously you equip that. I believe it's probably going to be under aid. Maybe Mac 11 flashlight toggle. So you're gonna to want to put this on your hot bar, like you're assigned it as your favorite, right? You pull the gun out, 
and then you would hit like up flashlight should be on now uh, or off or I don't know what the, if it was on or you can't really tell right now because it's not dark enough um, but that is how you do that so now a flashlight you know, toggles on and off and then you can mess around with it that way we're gonna go test the weapon out in some combat though and I'll see you guys there fucking monkeys man anyway we're gonna get in here uh, I'm gonna show off a different mod real quick. This is Locky Looks Lucky You, but um, we'll get to that in a different video. Um, shoots open doors. That's pretty cool. Just you, you guys want to see that mod? Make sure you let me know that you want to see that in the future. Uh, there should be some raidery type people down in here, but it should be like close range cave cabin door thing where you can just kind of run up on some dudes. Um, let's reload real quick because we did spend a shit ton of ammo. Yep, close range. Spray and pray them down. Don't even aim on sight. It's not necessary. That's not what this gun is about. This gun is about. Running up loud, no suppressor. Just running in here, making sure man's died. That man died actually because this guy died. Perks are good. Luck perks are good in this game. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think that's everybody here. I think you can come out the other way where you come out in the lake or Malden Pond, I guess. Um, it's a pond, whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So obviously that the weapon works really, really well. You, I mean, you're gonna need a lot of bullets, but if you have the bullets for it, because you can even make a .38. And you're going to lose some of that damage, but it's still going to be a really powerful weapon because you're going to shoot really fast still. Um, you're going to just kind of melt through anything at close range. Probably almost even better than, like, shotguns. Um, is there anything else out here that wants to mess with me? There's sometimes Meyer lurks here. Does not look like it, though. There's a kickball in the middle of the field for no reason. So, yeah, if you guys want a really powerful machine pistol that you just kind of spray and pray with that really tight hip fire accuracy. Or you can put a you know, suppressor with a long scope on there if you want to fuck it up and make it weird. You can do that. So, if you guys wanted to check out that mod for yourselves, the Mac 11 Machine Pistol mod, you can check out the top of the description. There'll be a link to the Bethesda on that page if you're on Xbox. If you're on PC, there'll be a Nexus mod link, because you guys like the Nexus. Apparently, that's where you get your mods from. I don't really know, because I don't play on PC, but to each their own. If you guys have enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate that like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, because YouTube has took away my ability to make revenue. Unless I get a thousand subscribers, and I'm really close. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Order to be, and I'll see you in the next episode.